Hello everyone, back to you to today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So as always on a Friday, we're going to have your month head log head. And this is covering pretty much the whole of August. The Gazma is August 2019 forecast is going to be released tomorrow. It'll be the first video up tomorrow morning. Uh, so you see what we're officially forecasting for August then. But uh, this is going to cover the next four weeks, which of course is pretty much the whole of uh, August 2019. So I'll get on that for you very shortly. Have a look at the Gem 8 and then compare it to the CFS V2. Coming up later on this afternoon, we'll have a week's 10 day uh, video update. And we're also going to have a, a events and festivals update this evening, looking at some events that are coming up uh, next weekend. Uh, just say about Solar Sunday, we was hoping to do Solar Sunday this coming Sunday, but we've had to uh, cancel it, unfortunately. Events beyond our control have meant that we just have to, uh, we've had to knock that on the head, so we won't be able to bring that to you. We, we'll, we will have Gaza of its Sunday Roundup as usual on Sunday, but no, uh, no Solar Sunday. Uh, right, so we're going to get on with the uh, JMA Friday update. I'm going to start off with the 500 millibar. Height anomalies from the North Pole view down. Uh, so this is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere uh, just here. Middle latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere are around there. Uh, yellow, orange and red are extrapolating to above average heights, which is high pressure. And blue extrapolates to below average heights, which is low pressure. Uh, this is the week one 500 millibar height anomaly, taking us from the 2nd through to the 9th of August. And we've got blocking to the north. We've got above average heights, high pressure around Greenland. And then we've got low pressure, below average heights coming through the Atlantic and into uh, northern parts of Europe as well. The jet stream is being pushed southwards. Uh, rather like that, and the blocking area of high pressure is uh, sending those areas of low pressure and also the jet stream southwards. So it looks unsettled in the week here, perhaps increasingly uh, unsettled for week one. Week two is a little better. This takes us from the 9th through to the 16th of August, and it still looks very unsettled indeed. Below average heights running through the Atlantic with these areas of low pressure. Still a blocking signal up towards Greenland as well. Jet stream is still being pushed southwards, so that one also looking unsettled. The first half of August does look as though it could be uh, really quite poor here with low pressure bringing in uh, areas of wet weather from off the Atlantic. I mean, there's no getting made for it, so beating about the bush. That's what it shows, and it is pretty grim, actually, for the first half of August. Any improvements for weeks three and four? Well, here we go. It takes us from the 16th through to the 30th of uh, August. And it still doesn't look great, really. There's a trough of below average height centred almost over the top of the UK. We have lost the northern blocking signal towards Greenland to some degree, but we still look generally unsettled here, bringing in um, the jet stream and still bringing in bouts of rain, you would have thought, from off the Atlantic. So it doesn't look great uh, for August. If this is right, it'll be a very unsettled August, probably relatively cool as well. And uh, just bouts of wet weather coming in off the Atlantic. Bear in mind that is a two-week anomaly, so there might be some something transitional going on there. It could be that by week four, things are getting a little bit drier and warmer or could be in week three, but we have a dry warmer interlude, who knows. But for the two weeks overall, it still looks quite unsettled. This is the tropical and mid-latitude view. So the British Isles and Ireland in the top right-hand corner of the chart, as you're looking at it there, a reminder of the week one 500 millibar height anomaly from the uh, 2nd through to the 9th of August. And it just looks unsettled with below average heights in the Atlantic and bringing the jet stream into the UK as well. Temperature anomalies are holding up surprisingly well, given how unsettled the pattern is. We must be dragging up quite a bit of air from the central Atlantic, which, of course, is going to be relatively warm. So the temperature anomaly is OK. It's warmer than average, but it's also unsettled with precipitation anomalies going above average too. So a warm but quite wet week uh, coming up. Now we're into uh, week. Two, which is the 9th to 16th of August. So second week of August, just unsettled again. Low pressure, below average heights in from off the Atlantic jet stream. 
temperature anomaly is still a little bit on the mild on the average side, a little bit on the warm on the average side, less so than in week one, but it is still above average. So there's no problems with temperatures in the week ahead. But again, it looks unsettled. Precipitation anomalies are above average. So there's going to be plenty of warm rain around if uh, this is right. The uh, temperatures are going to hold up, but it's going to be quite a bit of precipitation through the first half of August. Uh, and then, so we've got to go back to there, and we've got to go over to here. Sorry about that, I haven't got week three and four anomaly up. So if we go down to there, third and fourth week, we can see the 500 millibar height anomaly for uh, for week three and four, which takes us from the 16th to the 30th of August, with a trough of below average heights still centred over the top of the country. It looks like it's unsettled. Temperature anomalies in uh, weeks three and four, generally on the warmer than every side. So no problems with temperatures this August. It could actually turn out to be quite a, quite a warmish August with uh, temperatures maybe around a degree or so above average. But it is still unsettled. So the precipitation anomaly is still coming out wetter, uh, wetter than average. So a warm, wet August being signalled here uh, by the JMA with quite a lot of rain. But at least it's warm rain because the temperature does hold up quite well. Uh, right, CFSV2, let's see how that compares. So again, these are 500 millibar heights broken down into weak beers. The first week beer takes us from the 2nd to the 8th of August. The coming week with below average heights coming in from the Atlantic into much of Central and Northern Europe. We've got blocking over Greenland. High pressure is over the top of Greenland. That's sending the jet stream southwards with those areas of low pressure. Looks unsettled and perfect agreement between the CFS and the JMA. Week two is the 9th to the 15th of August, and we have again below average heights in the Atlantic into the North Europe. Blocking is reducing, it's still there over green to some degree, but it is reducing a little bit. Uh, however, it's still what's unsettled here. We're still bringing in low pressure and below average heights from off the Atlantic. Southern Europe has some high pressure, so it is trying to warm up across central and southern parts of Europe, but for us, it looks Pretty unsettled, that. And then we're into week three, which is the 16th, 22nd of August. Below average heights continue over the UK, Scandinavia, much of Northern Europe. So the unsettled weather goes on. Uh, and we go through to week four, which is the 23rd to 29th of August. Uh, so trough of below average heights centering over Scandinavia at this point. Um... A ridge down across southern parts of Europe covering the Mediterranean. So that would be trying to bring up warmer air from the south and from the southwest. However, we still look generally rather on the unsettled side and possibly rather on the cool side too. That may be hinting that by the end of August we are going into something a little bit drier and that would of course set us up then for our typical spell of quite dry and relatively warm weather for early September perhaps. The first hints of that could be starting to appear there but overall still in week four it does look quite uh, unsettled and quite changeable. Uh, week one temperature anomalies from the 2nd to the 8th of August, warmer than average. So again, agreement between the JMA and the CFS about that. Temperatures are holding up quite well. It's just that it's unsettled. And we keep those temperatures holding up quite well into week two as well. This is the 9th to the 15th of August. So the first half of August is actually going to be quite warm. We're going to see above average temperatures if this is right, but it will be unsettled. Bit of a change from week three. This is the 16th, 22nd of August. We go below average then uh, with the temperature anomaly. So begin becoming cooler into the second half of August. And then week four, which is the 23rd to 29th of August, close to average with temperatures then. But I think it implies that the first half of August is quite warm. The temperature holds up warm in the first half and then becomes a bit cooler in the second half. Precipitation anomalies look like that. It's second to the 8th of August, close to or a little bit above average, particularly to the north and west. A wetter week for week two, which is the 9th to the 15th of August. That's substantially uh, wetter than average for all of us. Week three is the 16th to 22nd of August. That is also above average. That's also wetter than average. And week four is a very weak seal, as it always is by week four. 23rd, 29th of August. If anything, though, possibly still hinting at uh, being a little bit on the wet and average side, particularly so for northern parts of the country. 
So this is shaping up to be an unsettled August. There's no getting away from it. Low pressure looks like it's going to be in control through most of it. So we can expect bouts of rain, heavy showers in between, and just generally quite quite unsettled conditions. The temperature is holding up quite well, given the overall pattern. You would probably expect, given the overall unsettled pattern, the temperature anomalies to be cooler. Uh, the first half of August in particular does look quite warm, actually. So plenty of warm rain to come. Uh, the second half possibly getting a little bit cooler then. Temperature starting to come down. Uh, of course, August is a cooling month and the sun rapidly loses its strength during August from the beginning to the end of it. So if you've got overcast, sort of cloudy, wet days... Um, the further on you go into August, the harder it becomes to keep heat sustained, if you like, if you don't have the sun, because the air is rapidly getting damper during the course of August. Um, and we're gradually moving towards late summer and early autumn. So if it stays and settles into the second half of the month, that probably would tie in with the second half being cooler than the first half. But overall temperatures are holding up reasonably well. It just looks pretty unsettled with rainfall above average and, uh, and uh, quite a bit of rain to come. It's only a snapshot. Remember, this could all look very different next week. It is being quite well uh, modelled, this. Um, it's quite consistent. The, the models are quite consistent about this unsettled August. But it could look different next week. It's just a snapshot of what these two models are showing uh, this week. And, of course, next, week, uh, next week's update could look very different indeed. Uh, right, so that's it, Jeremy. Right, we'll be back later on with your week 10 day video update. So come back for that then. And tonight we'll have a look at one or two of those festivals coming up, not this weekend, but next weekend. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.